G'day guys, it's Jono and welcome back to Quick Math. Today we're going to be talking about how to find a percentage change using this thing called the unitary method. Okay, it is an extension of the box method to find percentage change that I talked about in the last video. So if you haven't checked that one out, it could be really helpful. So the unitary method means we're finding one per thing or 1%, okay? So with these percentage ones, if you've get, been given a question, finding 1% then allows us to find any percentage amount that we want, okay? It, I think it's easiest to see this in an example. So 7% of a number is equal to 21. What is that number? So this is a little bit more difficult than the questions that we've been dealing with previously. So I know that the amount we've been given is 21. So 21 goes down here, and that is equal to 7% of the total number. Okay, so to solve this question, we need to find what 1% is, and then we can find 100% really easily. So if I've got this 7%, I need to find what 1% is, and I can easily get from 7 to 1 using division. So over here, I'm going to divide by 7. If that's what I do to one side, I've got to do it to the other side. So I'm dividing this side by 7, which means that 1% of my total value is 3. Okay? This isn't the final answer, though. We know that from this question, we're going to have a number that's much bigger than 21, because 21 is only a fraction of the overall amount. So now we know that 1%, 3 is equal to 1%. And I need to find out what the whole amount is, or I need to find 100% of this number that we need. So 100% down here, I can get from 1% to 100% very easily. I can times by 100. And that's what I've got to do to both sides. So 3 is multiplied by 100 here, which is equal to 300. This is my final answer, and I'm done. You can check this is correct. If I go 300 multiplied by 7% or 0 0.07, that is equal to 21, so I know that I've got it right. Nothing wrong with checking your answer. So we're gonna do this in one table this time, okay? So we don't wanna waste space. We'll see if we can just get it into three lines of working that are nice and quick. So an object sold for 130% of its cost price. So it cost something to make, we wanted to make a 30% profit. It sold for 72 bucks. How much did it cost to make? So, I know that the cost price here was $72, and that is 130% of its value. Okay, so to work this out, I need to find what 1% is, and then I can find out what 100% is. So I know this is a few levels of working, but it's gonna make this really easy, and you'll be able to follow along with your own working quite simply. So 130 to 1, I need to, have, I need to divide this by 130, which means that's exactly what I have to do to the other side. So if I divide this by 130, the answer that I get is going to look really gross, okay? Don't worry about that. Just leave it in your calculator as ants, okay? I don't want you to write it. You can write down the first couple of numbers, but try not to simplify it or round it in this step. It'll just give you a slightly different answer at the end that can be the difference between getting it wrong and getting it right. But because I know that I've got 1% here in my calculator, I can find 100% really easily by multiplying this by 100 because that's what I've got to do to get from 1% to 100%. So that'll come out in my calculator. I want you to put answer times 100% just to make sure we're not making any rounding errors. And that comes out to $55.38, and that is your final answer. Thanks very much, guys, and I'll see you later. I hope you guys found that helpful. Just a reminder that there are some free worksheets attached in the description below relating to this very topic. I also put up a PDF of the notes so you don't have to copy them from the video. If you do need any additional help, please don't be scared to send me an email. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel for some more quick math.